Hello, religion students. My name is Rhonda Kitchens. I am your librarian. If you have any questions about what I'm about to show you, please reach out to me. If you're struggling with keywords or the right database to use, I am a person you can talk to. So, first of all, I want to make sure you know how to get to the library from bigben.edu. Go to Academics, go to Library, and you'll come up to this page. We have a lot of excitement here, but for this, I'd love for you to go to Class Guides because I have built a guide for you. Hopefully you have the direct link and you, this may not be necessary, but this will work for any number of your classes. The page that you see may look different from this because I'm still working on it, but I have to gather some ideas for you. First of all, one of the money spots you could find if you find an article already that compares your two religions. Again, they have to be very specific and not broad. So suppose you're looking at Southern Baptist and Taoism, you'll use the Boolean search piece that has and. I'll show that when I'm doing the databases. You can also use truncation. Suppose you're looking for marriage or uh, theology. I have an example here. Back it up to the most common letter, put in an asterisk, and it searches for all of these things so you don't have to keep doing the search. Also, if you want to search in a phrase, Put quotation marks around it. It will take you to those spaces more directly and not have them spread out in one place or the other. In some cases, this may narrow down your search too much, so you can always take them out as well. It's according to um, what you need to do. I have some key words for you to consider. These might be things that you can use to uh, compare and contrast your two different religions that you've chosen. I'm going to go over here first and I'm going to show you the databases. I'm not going to show you all of these, but I hope I show you uh, the best, maybe four or five that work. I'm going to go into religion philosophy. This is an EBSCO database. I found these highly easy to search. Um, it opens to this. So suppose, let's try my search, Taoism. This would be awesome if somebody's already written this article, but it may not be true, but let's look. So I'm going to put that like that. I'm going to go down here and select full text. I don't need peer reviewed for this. And um, dates aren't so important for this particular search. I would just like to see if someone did. Oh, they did not. So I'm going to go search for it in pieces. So we're going to go, I'm going to try first marriage. That may be one of the things you're comparing and contrasting. Now think about this when you do this research. The idea may also be wedding. And it's not. So I'm going to go to another one. And I'm also going to try culture. I tried marriage. I tried wedding. And none of those work. So as part of your research, kind of go broad, culture, wedding. So this database may not be good for the wedding part, but it may be awesome for the culture area. So I would go in here and look at this. This talks about organ donation. This talks about uh, different types of philosophy and cultural policy. All these different things can be pieces that you take back up to your search and do a search with that. You can also do a search with your other religion. So suppose we look into ancestor worship. That might be something you want to compare with the other one. Um, medicine, belief, doubt, spirituality. These are all great keywords. Now, if you're going to look at this one, let's look at this. This is a very specific top on spiritual beliefs and bereavement for infant death. Um, you might not be able to find that type of thing, say, for Southern Baptist, but you might be able to, the loss of children, but all these words, these keywords, keep collecting them if that's something that you're going to cover, and then pop in your other religion with these keywords so you can find, compare, and contrast pieces. So, this gives us HTML and PDF full text. Where the PDF is available, I always select that because that's the actual image of it in side of a journal. So sometimes you could see different things about it, images, uh, studies, tables, and other things you might be able to use in your research. Meantime, over here to the right, in um, our Religion Philosophy EBSCO database, we have these other options. You can print this, you can download it, and also you can get a site for it. Remember to cite 
and correct it. Don't copy and paste your citation. In this case, you need to use MLA. So make sure you go down to the MLA section and copy and correct this particular one. So you have a really great package, package of things within this article. You got keywords, you got your citations, you got ideas and words for your search for your next piece. So going back to the guide, I'm going to go to Homework Central. And this is combined um, three or four different databases all in one place. So you can kind of um, go through some of them that would be helpful. Uh, one of the ones that may be helpful for you is called Coltergrams. And it's a little bit of an unusual database in that uh, you see how I had to hunt for the others or approach it in a different way. Let's go into Coltergrams. So if you're trying to find something about a religious of affiliation or the culture where a religion um, exists, you would first go to the World Edition. You can also use the states. And uh, let's go for Asia in this case. And let's pick a place that might be uh, the home place of Taoism if you've figured that part out so far. Let me just select China. And it talks about dating and marriage as a lifestyle within China. You might want to check to see if it breaks down things in terms of religion. This talks about how it's regarded in society. So this may give you something to talk about how this exists inside of the research. And it has economy, government, dating and marriage, and history. Let's go over to the World Edition search piece to see if we can get something clearer. I'm going to keep this in here because I want you to understand research is sometimes time consuming. So I went to the mega search because it wasn't going to let me pull it out that way. So this talks about Taiwan. So instead I might go to Taiwan to look at their different celebrations and culture and wedding to see how these relate. So all of these will allow you to go right to those sections. And I'm going to go back to the main ProQuest page. Let's see what else is here on this homework central that may be helpful. Culturegrams, e-library, uh, ProQuest learning literature, Oh, that's a really big one. History Study Center. I'm going to go with ProQuest, but eLibrary would be good, especially if you're looking for some basic uh, reference type materials. Let's see what it may say. I tapped in Taoism. Actually, it's come up with quite a few things. It looks like this is some sort of reference piece, and it talks about... Um, how it's pronounced. Sometimes I'm easy Taoism. I apologize for that. I mean Taoism. So it talks about how you pronounce it. It goes down to um, comparing religion and ecological sustainability. You might find out that might be one of your points as you look into, say, Southern Baptist or other types of religions to see if they have a stance on ecology because it's actually become quite trendy for some current uh, religions, whereas in the past that was almost a centerpiece, so that might be something interesting. This talks about their tradition, arts, the growth of the religion. You could also go up here probably and um, put in wedding, marriage, death in this search. There's quite a few videos as well. Let's see if this has any sort of resonance. Well, there might be some very quirky things here. It talks about how things are used. And again, when you use something like marriage, also look for things like the celebration, wedding, and other things such as family. Kind of go big and go small and go back again. And while you're here, go ahead and search your other religion with the same types of words. So we covered Religion and Philosophy Center. We tapped into two things in Homework Central, both of which could be useful, but it looks like there's a bunch of things that could work for you as well. History Study Center may also have things in regard to religion in a historical way. ProQuest is a really big um, A to Z type. It's cross-cultural. You're definitely going to find things in here. You're going to find scholarly articles, newspapers, and more. And if you use the same way I did with the EBSCO, 
uh, research, just put in your words. You can use the truncation, put some phrase searching in, and as you find the keywords, keep gathering them up. And when you're in these places, research both topics, and you can save them, you can email them to yourself, or whatever you need to do. I want to make sure you also know how to get to ebooks. Ebooks are awesome. And they're so awesome. So let's go look at it. They are awesome because you can search full text. Um, right now, you can't really get to all the books right down the library, and sometimes you can't get to them at all. This is 24 7 365. So let's use Taoism, and we can uh, put in things like religion. This is going to be very different from the databases because you can be very granular and very specific. But here, I might just go with. That what it suggested. Let's go look at the books we may have available to us in terms of religion. Now, this talks about creativity, art, and poetry, um, the enduring tradition, face-to-face. -face. Um, this might be interesting. So I'm going to show you how to go into it. I see sometimes students have, they choose the wrong thing um, in that you might want to full download and that's great but you're going to have to go all the way over here sign in and create yourself an account and then download it and it checks it out for you to you for a few days but you can get just the same thing out of doing a pdf it's instant you don't have to sign in and it gives you the thing i love most of all search within so if i search within then i can pull out my keywords that might have already been looking at was i looking at marriage and it's going to have no results. I'm going to look at wedding. And it's going to have no results. I'm going to look at family. And it's going to mention family. And it's going to give me enough context that I understand what it may have to do with. And, and in this case, it doesn't seem like it has the right culture. References that I want is talk about people and their family. Maybe we'll talk about in a historical way. It talks about how it fits into some culture. So when you see these that might be interesting, if you click in on them, it's going to take you to that page so that you can start reading from that space. These are highly readable on your um, cell phone and other devices. You don't need anything special to be able to review them. So that is how you use the eBooks. Now, almost all of these have, and I'm gonna show them to, I showed you before they have that site button sometimes it has little quotations and this too will have it my keyboards in the way hang on and uh, don't pick the first one you're using MLA so copy and correct the MLA if you have any questions about cite citing your materials make sure you go to the online writing center they have a great handout that will help you out a great deal if you need help with research and words, I would love to crunch them down and work that out with you. Sometimes it's just being in the wrong database, but the ones I just showed you, I have picked for your success. So if you need anything, though, reach out to me, Rhonda Kitchens, your librarian, and I will be very happy to help you.